checking out Juan and Michelle's 4106. Pretty sweet, fresh paint job, massive solar. Check out this guy's Wi-Fi up here. Check out this solar deploy. I really appreciate Juan's attention to detail on the electrical work. Everything's labeled, proper terminations, heat shrink, solder. And of course on Juan's channel, he's got many videos describing what he did here. Top quality workmanship all the way around here. Propane water heater. Massive water pump. There's a, it's actually a home run manifold system. Oh yeah. So there's two manifolds in there that control. Every valve can be tuned with water pressure by a, a, via how far you turn these. Oh, that's nice. So if we're boondocking, we can shut them all down so it's just a trickle. And I like how you let them in there like that because they take up less room the way you did it. Right, a lot yeah. of the manifolds, they like occupy yeah. an entire bay. It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, so we stuck it on the roof. <laughs> on the ceiling. And laying in there like that takes up less <laughs> less room. Yeah. Hot and cold shower. Yep. Yep. Outside. Gotta have that. Yep. Yeah. Market. Just, it's a generic but we put in a Prius uh, water pump there to help the recirc as well. Where's the water pump at? Is it down in that? No, if you can just see it right there. You see the little black thing? I see a box, a white box, and is it the thing on top of the mm -hmm. white box yeah, there? Yeah, that little tiny thing. That's a water pump, That's huh? That's a water pump, and it's quiet here. Yeah. I'll turn it on for you. So I'm going to have to do this eventually, and I think lots of other 4106 owners are going to have to do the same thing. Yep. So here's what it sounds like on high. Was that a three speed now? Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. So it's much quieter, and then we have a panel that will fit over here. A stock panel or something else? No, it's a, it's a piece of wood like this. We don't, the, this was pretty much destroyed when we got it. So we've changed all the, all the controls. So when you remove that box, you also, it also works as a fresh air dampener. So see that white thing up under there? Yes. So that is a, um, oops, wrong one. That's see? the flap? Yeah. I was wondering how that worked. Yeah, so see. Okay. So that will let air in, that will block air off. So um, And that's stock. Oh no, no. Oh no, you made that? That's a foundation that's for house foundations. Oh, okay, because the stock <laughs> there's a stock flapper yeah, over there. Yeah, that you grab here and you do this. Do you still have that? It's over uh no we threw it away. <laughs> okay. Was that in this area? Yes. Yeah, there was a flap up there, and so we replaced it with that. So now it's just a little cable actuated. You can see it? Yeah. So, well, that's yeah. awesome. So that'll let fresh air in if we're cruising down the road. And then we replaced the temperature control because ours was stuck. It was crusty so, in over here, right? Yep. yep. So, it's crusty in right here. And so it, where's the temperature control right in? There. And what is that out of? Uh, Amazon. 13 okay. bucks. And that's just a hot water valve, basically. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, they make them. And it's literally a hot water valve, and you, you pull the you you pull the you can see it actuating there. I do. You pull to open it. Yep. So that's um, that's how that works. And then these hoses are designed for defrost. They're defrost from. So all this system is from Jags, and it's kind of all designed to work together. The only thing I had to make was some three D printed um, adapters. So. What happens is these things are two and three quarter for some reason. Uh -huh. And so if you look right here, you can see my adapter. You see it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only thing I had to make. Um, this is an so air cool. intake for a, like a, from AutoZone. You had to scrounge for that. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was it was easier than pregnant. I'm gonna shut this off for so any sort of warning on these temp cages. Like um, audible just the lights. No, just no the lights. No. Nope. So, so um, you're pulling so in grapevine so pass. You got right. I can show you how I did that, or I got a bunch of videos, but I'm really interested in how you did your um, your home automation stuff. I haven't. It's not in here yet. This is this is what it'll be. There's a mess of wires. Right on the money, huh? Yeah. So this guy, so it, it, it talks yeah, MQTT, so this speaks so you can do home, home automation with it, it has a proprietary CAN bus. Correct, yes, yeah, so our BMS actually works on this, and it'll tell us how many volts, the, the we have a 48 volt battery, so it's currently at 56.8 volts. It's making 9.4, 8.5 now amps from the solar that's actually charging the battery. So we're running the mini split, which is drawing about 350 watts or so. That's not bad. Nope. And then we are getting about a thousand watts. So now if I bump that up, you'll see the solar go up as the load goes up to try to keep the battery. So if I turn the water pump on. Yeah. And so this is how much DC power we're drawing. This is how much AC That's loads we've got. Our, our is, These little dots represent right where the energy is going. Mm -hmm. And so and, uh, this, yeah, so and if we had shore power, <laughs> it would show that. And the cool thing is yeah. we could be on a 15 amp cord. And if we turn stuff on, air conditioner kicks on all that, it'll draw it from the battery. Whoops. It'll draw it from the battery. It'll only ever pull 15 amps. I'm the shore power. I want to get a Victron. Just pull it out, put a cabinet in. But you're pretty happy with it. Yeah. Well. So far. Not, we used it for two weeks. Yeah, we used right? it for two weeks in the house and we in liked the house. it. And we actually took the water and instead of putting it in the drain, we put it in a bucket and then just to see exactly how much water it would take. And then we put the power meter on it. And so we see exactly how much power one load takes. Uh -huh. And so we know, you know, about how much battery we have. And so, you know, here's, we can safely do a load if we have this much excess. So it washes and dries, isn't it? Does. Is that more convenient than having to switch the load around? I think so. Yeah. I mean, it was not that big of a deal. The biggest thing is you can't overload it, otherwise right. it doesn't dry as well, and it gets or it just get the clothes get really wrinkly. Right. Because at yeah. home we just cram it as full as we, <laughs> you know, like it's a game of like t closed Tetris. You know, we but, get as many clothes as we can. You can't do that with this. Yeah, one you just can't super overload it because of right. the dryer part of it. Right. The sink is nice. This, yeah. Did you guys so, make this? Can yep. You? Yeah. Um, we didn't. We bought the butcher block just at Home Depot, Good and then. RO water, huh? Do you have the RO system in place? We don't have just... it in yet because it's going to be with the bathroom. And so um, we need a bathroom wall to be in place before we can put the unit. But this is actually a, um, it's, a it's, a, it's a tankless high pressure system. So what it does is it has an internal pump and it pumps up the pressure to like 120 PSI or something to force it over the membranes. Really? And so it makes them more efficient. And so... Normal RO systems use between four and five gallons of it, brine water. It wastes it. Right, for every one gallon they produce, and this is one to one. Really? For every one gallon of fresh, it'll produce one gallon of brine. Well, and then so, we're dumping the brine back into our fresh water tank. Right. So we don't waste any So water. we don't waste any of it. So it'll go right back into our fresh our fresh water supply, which is a little weird, but... That is a little weird. It's a little weird, but <laughs> what we figured was, was get, we, we're filtering it on the way in to, to 0.5 microns. So it's there's not going to be a lot in pretty there. pretty clean already, probably, right? right? Yeah, right. it's probably pretty clean already, so there's and not going to be... You said it's tankless, so it doesn't have the there's pressure no tank, tank right. thing? It, no, it's, it's almost looks like a... Um, uh, like a computer, like a, like com a 1980s like a, computer. Yeah, it's just like, kind of this tall, sweet, yeah, rectangular box that the, yeah. and then the 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 filters. Yeah, the filters like, have this like futuristic up mouth and down, thing. They're put right. in this way. They're put in sideways, you know? right? So they're like yeah. the long cylindrical tubes, and they just and kind they of just kind of slide, slide in and lock. Does in. it take a lot of power then? No, is the pump? It's no? it's 120 volt, but. It's a DC converter that converts it. I think it's three or four amps. It isn't a lot, and it only runs while it's doing the yeah, thing. While you're using it. So right. you have to hook it up Here, to 120, or are you going to run yeah, it off? Yeah, we're going to run it off 120 because that's four. Okay. So, um, but we could hook it up to DC um, if we wanted to. Pantry. Um, it's 
we were going to do the slides and then opted not to because it is so wide. Mm -hmm. um, we just didn't feel the need to, you know, we can reach easily into the back. They're, um, they're not too terribly deep. Um, so this right here, I think I showed you this. It's your tech cabinet? Yeah, so that has just Are a bunch of USBs. Yep, it has a bunch of, and then these have a bunch of 110s in the back. So um, it's just literally a charging station for cameras and phones and computers and all that sort of thing. These are movable shelves, so we can configure these in different ways. Um, hanging storage um, on that side. And then these are drawers, but they're enormous. So they're good sized drawers. So And you did, you built those yourself? Yeah, we built all this stuff just that's a lot of yeah, work. It's funny we told the guy. I have an appreciation for how much work that is. <laughs> there After was a just guy making who came and he's like, "Was that a kit?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, it was, we just bought it at Home Depot as a kit." And, and the kit was just like, you know, six uh, four by eight sheets of plywood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so bunk beds for the kids, um, lower and uppers. So the little ones sleep down here. So there's it's a little smaller, and then the bigs are up here. The important thing for us in here and the challenge was this window is already in. And so we wanted to be able to have as much of the window as possible. And these are, you can kick these out if there's an emergency. Good. So, and to be able to get out. And so we wanted to have not too much obstruction. <laughs> so, right. You can yeah. drag that cushion out of the way to get yeah, a little more exactly. room if you want. Yep, exactly. So, um, but these, we built these and they're, um, we just welded this up. Super and, strong yeah, construction. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're ridiculous. So everybody's got a light and a everybody's USB. A light and a USB, yep. And then on the front, we've got 110s in here. Um, this is a diesel heater that's down under that drawer there. You'll see that's got a louvered front there. So this is actually not really a drawer, but this one is. Well, you so, crammed a drawer in there. Yep. So there's a drawer in there and that one's a fake drawer. That's just the false front. And um, that's where the intake is. And then the um, the heater output is right there. Just one? Just one and then there's one in the bathroom. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So Those will drive you out. How many KW sizes is your five. diesel? So Each? Got two fives. Oh, they'll yeah. drive you out. Oh yeah. yeah. No, we don't, we just run them. Literally in the morning, it'll be 30 degrees in here. And then 15 minutes later, it's 73 and we turn them off. <laughs> yep. So we don't use that much fuel. So these little pocket things, um, these are removable. So these come out and that gives us access to, this is just a literally a window AC that we got for $30 at Target. Just because so, you needed more cooling back here. You didn't yeah, have a place to put a split system. Yeah, when it was 115. System. Oh yeah. No, we, we couldn't fit another, we, we just couldn't fit the actual box. So in the back, I'll show you in the back where this it, this just blows out the back, but it's all it's so, finished, so it doesn't look like the back of an air conditioner. So that is how you solve the problem. See, I've been thinking about a split system, but yeah, I want two it. heads. I need right. two heads. No, I want something in the want, back. Then you need 240. That's the problem. So do you have 240 volts? No. Nope. No. So you're not going to be able to get a split head system. That's what we Do wanted. you have 240? No. Yeah. No? Okay. No, we only have 120. We did that, we consciously made that choice to keep it more simple. So we consciously made the choice that like, let's just do 120 and then not worry about the split phase. And so when we plug into 50 amp, we can pull in 50 amps, but just off one leg. So we don't, we can, we have, if it's all wired for 50 amp and we brought the other leg in and just terminated it and capped it off and sealed it. So you might be interested in something this guy did on my bus that was kind of interesting. Uh -huh. He built a separate box right. that he can hang out there that's got the 50. Yep. It's got a 30 plug. Yep. And then it has a couple of 20s. Yeah, just off the, off the leg. leg. And so then yeah. the bus. We thought about that. My bus has got a 30 short cord. Right. And a 50, right? No. And it has a 20. And oh, the, cool. And so the okay. 20 goes to the back okay. AC. Yep. And the so you have two acs i have two roof airs, roof airs okay. which eventually i'll be getting rid of okay but um that cord it goes to the the back roof air and it goes to the um block heater gotcha and so and then there's a switch 
okay. inside that switches. I can run it off the main 30. Okay. Or I can or run it off that. of the other 20. Ah, cool. And so if I have 50, I use a 30 and a 20. Right. And, you know, or otherwise I just use or run everything off the 130. Okay. Oh, no, just this little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hate that thing. <laughs> this is on the uh, two fix list.